here from the active volcano under the ground. So that's why it feels a little warmer now. I can feel the heat. It's warmer in here right now. Whoa. Yes, that was me on my way to the crate of the Taal volcano. I, I just can't believe that uh, it actually erupted. I was shocked when I hear the news while I'm here in Palawan. I have no idea that uh, it was erupting uh, that morning. Uh, I was really, really shocked. I'm riding on the boat right now to go to Taal volcano. Finally made it here at the bottom of the Alp volcano, and I'm about to get out of the boat and uh, ride on the horse to start hiking. And uh, someone is waiting for me here. It took us about uh, 20 minutes uh, from Talisay Bay to get to the Taal volcano, and upon arriving there, I was met by my uh, tour guide. Her name is Riza. The bottom of the Taal volcano is seems to be very populated. There's a lot of children who live there. Uh, horse are all over the place. The number one source of income of the residents there is tourism. And now that the volcano erupted, I was just not sure uh, what awaits and the lives of the locals who live in Taal volcano. As we get near to the crate of the Taal volcano, I have noticed uh, the temperature uh, changed dramatically. It was warmer and uh, I can feel the heat and the steam coming out of the volcano. And during our uh, horse ride, I was uh, talking to my tour guide that what can happen if the volcano erupted while we're there. and he just basically rebuked me and told me, no mom, uh, it's not gonna happen, don't worry about it, and please don't talk about it, because uh, we've been living here uh, for so long, and uh, you know, this is where we belong. <laughs> wow. We're having a traffic here right now. I see very few, pe few people uh, actually hiking. Mostly I'm riding on the horse, I guess because it will take a long time to hike, but if I'm just by myself, I wouldn't mind hiking really. There's a traffic here? Wow. Hard, huh? There's a lot of people in here. I wouldn't think that there's a lot of uh, people who are going up and down in this mountain on horses. There's actually steam coming out of here from the active volcano under the ground. So that's why it feels a little warmer now. I can feel the heat. It's warmer in here right now. Whoa. Good thing I took off my sweater. Otherwise, I will really, really get so hot. 
Yeah. Oh, that one is not active anymore. That's the first one. So now we're actually climbing up on the crater of the active volcano. So we're going up the hill here. It's a rough road riding on the horse. I wouldn't mind uh, climbing up here or... Uh, so I can see the steam from the volcano right here. It's still steaming. We're almost there, huh? Wow, it's a tough, tough road. Wow. You see the steam coming out of here, right here. Steaming. It's a rough trail to go up. No wonder why they don't want me to just uh, climb up here and do the hiking because it doesn't seem like it's an easy place to hike but I can do it. Maybe not all the way but I can hike on this uh, path. It's almost there, we're almost there. Wow. finally made it here at the Great of Al Volcano, where the Volcano's Great is. It's very, very warm here. Beautiful. I will definitely not forget my uh, trip to Ta'al Volcano. It's been on my bucket list for years and I made it up there two days before the volcano erupted. And uh, I don't know whether that area and uh, Tagaytay and Nasugbu Batangas will be the same again after this tragedy. I'm continually praying that everything will just go back to normal. I know it's not going to be the same again. And I'm hoping that the volcano will not erupt again and it will just uh, stop. If you want to see the a full uh, version of my trip to uh, Taal Volcano, please subscribe my channel and I will show you my adventure and what it took me to get there. Uh, I hope that uh, people in Taal Volcano, Nasugbu, Batangas, and Tagaytay are all doing well. Please include them in your prayers and uh, hopefully the volcano will not erupt again. Uh, see you later. Bye.